Hello everyone, welcome to a quick look at Super Power 3. I haven't put enough time in this video to call this like a let's play or a gameplay overview of any real sorts, but I thought we'd at least get some, some kind of gameplay content on the interwebs, because I haven't seen much, and I've heard <laughs> actually, well, anyway, I haven't heard much, let's say it that way. Uh, so yeah, we're always going to play as the United States in the sandbox. I don't care what anyone tells me. That's just what I'm always going to do. So let's go ahead and play as the United States. Um, Super Power 3 designers did introduce some kind of character aspect to the game. Um, this matters about as much to me as something which matters basically nothing to me. I don't care at all about customizing my character. I'm not sure what the point of this is, frankly. But that's okay, because we'll do whatever the game designer wants us to just to get into the sandbox. The main thing for me is Super Power 2 had a pretty woefully in uh, uh, not inaccurate, but insufficient artificial intelligence that only produced, for example, infantry, despite the, you know, rich, diverse options that you could play, uh, I mean, design and, and create as the military. And that always struck me as kind of a bummer. So my main hope when I jump into Super Power 3 is is the AI going to do like something a little bit more competent? That's a tough thing to get right, the AI, but anyway. So technically all these things are going to impact... I, I guess none of this stuff will, but technically... Oh my gosh, what is this character? Okay, I, I, I don't care, but this is just too much. Just get that stupid thing off your face. Thank you. Gosh, that's so much better. Okay, we can go with this. Little Abe Lincoln type look. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this is really necessary. I guess maybe they're they're preparing. Maybe this is from the Guild 3. It's the same people, I think. Uh, okay, so let's just play. I, I don't know. You're starting to game. Yeah, okay. So Super Hour 2 was, was great in a lot of ways. It did give you that... I, in my opinion, it might have given. It might be the game which gives you the best feeling of playing as a nation, as a, a real geopolitical simulator. It was awesome. It had all the treaties and stuff. I mean, the depth was all there. The gameplay mechanics, I'm not sure. Um, sometimes you weren't sure if the treaties were really making a difference, or you know, I mean, you could game the system. I don't mind that. I mean, to a degree, the designer, it's up to the de designer whether they want to put the brakes on somebody who's min-maxing. If you power game too much and you break the system, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you kind of get what you deserve or you play on a higher difficulty, whatever it is. By the way, I do need to limit this video in, uh, whoa, okay, GPU went down, okay. This game, um, I think it has an issue with unlocked frame rate and it runs my GPU at 100%, even on the lowest graphics settings. I think the developer's aware of that already, so I don't think we need to worry about it. Hopefully that'll get fixed. Um, but there is no, as far as I'm aware, option in the graphics settings to set like V-Sync or something like that, which would keep the GPU from running like crazy. Anyway, uh, no, don't do that. To continue. Close. Yeah. So we're playing as the United States now. The game is running. First question I had, and I'm a little surprised, is how do you speed up the game beyond speed one? Is it uh, one, two, three, four, five? Well, you know, I mean, we've got some questions here. This is definitely not a gameplay overview. I would say this is a first look. Make sure I put that in the title. But um, yeah, okay, so let's just see what's what's here. The thing I've already played around with is the military stuff, which is, looks great. Actually, I think this is uh, pretty promising. One thing I, I guess is missing is, despite the fact that you can make your own character, you can't, as far as I can tell, Design your own infantry unit. I mean, you're okay. Let's let's make a let's make an attack aircraft. That sounds fun. Uh, they, do they have fighter aircraft in the game? No, they might have merged attack aircraft with fighter aircraft. Which, by the way, completely that seems completely fair. So let's make a new one. We have the A4, the F15, the military. Come on. I mean, if you're playing this game, and you're not interested in playing with the military. Well, you're a better person than I am. But I just get obsessed with these things. You know, we can play around with the budget. Time is ticking right now, we could pause, we'll just let it go. Oh, okay, well, we'll come back to the military just in a second. I don't want to be too scatterbrained, but it only seems wise to me that we at least set our, uh, our budget first. And as with any game since the beginning of time, everyone knows that the solution to your problems is just to increase taxes until everybody hates you, and then the world's problems all go away. 
and it's true in this game as well. At least it was true in Super Power 2, and I suspect it'll be true in this one. So the 35% taxes that we just decided to raise are going to give us a balance of $4 trillion a year, as you do. And then we're going to go ahead and raise our infrastructure up. Oh, foreign aid, who, well, we'll, we'll kill propaganda, even though that's going to hurt our approval rating even more. I do suspect this approval rating should drop horrifically. I, okay, there it is. I was like, why did that approval rating not drop below 50%? So good, now we're down to... Come on, we're just, this is going to be the way America was meant to be run with 40% taxes on everybody. I'm just kidding, by the way. I don't have any opinion on that. But $5 trillion in the bank per year, that sounds pretty good to me. The good old Tortuga, he thinks that clearing out the total American debt in less than four years, that sounds completely unnecessary, frankly. You should be putting that money to better use than just taxing people to spend on yeah, debt is the new cool thing anyway we're gonna use that money in different ways we're gonna boost the environment a bit and I just like to bring these up a smidge there is kind of a cool at least a statement about it is cool that the education system should not necessarily be increased too much lest you get too many educated people and not enough people to work the uneducated so to speak positions so that's kind of a nice little, a nice little I mean, it's nice to see. I don't know if it's implemented well. Again, this is kind of my first look. I, I can't really play the game very, very long without, for fear of burning out my GPU, which is running at only 85% right now. So I think we're doing okay now. Um, what? U.S. military at only a quarter? Get out of here. Just get the, get the heck out of here. Uh, yeah, I'll just increase everything a little bit. Look at when you have a four trillion dollar surplus, you can do whatever you want. You can increase military research, you know, as much as you want. Nobody's going to tell me not to, in fact. Let's just get that guy all the way up there. It's not more than civilian research, in case anybody's interested in knowing. You know, that's my defense. When they, when I go to debate whoever, my, whoever runs against me. I'm apparently in the Democratic Party, so whatever Republican comes up, I'm just going to tell them, look, you can't fight the fact that I'm you know, maybe spending too much on the military. I'm spending more on the civilians. Okay, so that is the budget <laughs> in a nutshell. You can also go over to the sectors here, and um, this, I haven't, I mean, I'm very familiar with Super Power 2, so I knew how to, like, manipulate all the things. You would go in and give them little subsidies. I'm not yet clear exactly. It looks like it could be the same thing, but just maybe a different interface. Um, I don't yet have it all figured out. Unemployment. Meet? Meet unemployment? No, 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 that can't be right. Yeah, 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 that's just unemployment in general. Wait a second. 30% unemployment? That does seem a little bit high. Could that have been anything to do with the taxes? Well, four trillion, I'm, uh, I'll just put people all on welfare, I guess. <laughs> we can afford it, so <laughs> well, good luck to them. You know, try to find a job and all that. I don't know if that was me or if that started that way, or I'm not even sure if I'm reading that right. It seems kind of preposterous that... Wait, 30%? Do they mean a 30% of the entire population? Because if that's the case, that that could be sensible. There's a lot of people not working age. But this... I mean, I would normally inter... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pollution went up to 7.5%? But that's fuel. Is it different for... Okay, all of these are different. It's an investment. Percentage of the GDP, apparently civilian industrial economy is 20%, wait, no. Yeah, 25% of our GDP. And fuel is only 2%. Okay, good. So, I mean, you can see there's a lot of interesting numbers here. Definitely a lot to play around with. That's something that I think a lot of people liked about, um, about the original. I mean, or about Super Power 2, which I'm going to call the original. Now that we have that all set up, let's go back to the fun stuff, which is playing around with our aircraft. And like I said, you just can't, the downside is you can't design the actual look of it, which matters not. I mean, I don't care how my character looks, but that's for damn sure. I do kind of like to design. I mean, it was fun to pick your own little design in Super Power 2, even though it was just aesthetics. So let's, um, let's see, we have the FA, I can't select them this way, I guess. Yeah, so this, 
range. So I think this means that this is the next um, area that the research is going into. It's going to go into damage next, and I guess we can change where it's going to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks like the... what is going on? But it says searching. Current technology. You can only select one technology at a time. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need a few basic technology for a design to be viable, so the first te to research technologies will be imposed. Okay, fair enough. No, I think that what we want is stealth, location, armor for my aircraft doesn't make sense. I think speed, maneuverability, these things, this would be better. I think that maneuverability is, uh, is very important to me. Probably it's actually less important than range on my primary weapons. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be important. Range against other aircraft. Super, super important. In fact, did I get enough budget on this? I did. We're at 200%. <laughs> Thumbs up. Looking good. Okay, so let's go ahead and design a new one then. This is, uh, now, it, it looks wonderful here. F-22, by the way, is my favorite looking, or just my favorite aircraft ever. Now we're going to make something, and this is going to be called the F9000 and 1, because it is over 9000, Tortuga. Well, this has got to be a flying turtle, so flying tortoise. Oh, okay, flying tort. It's the flying tort. Hopefully most people will interpret as a short short for tortoise or tortuga and not some kind of legal term. But that's fine. Either way. And this thing's gotta have all of the things. It's gotta have all the things. So it did change, yeah, so it does change, but can I, I don't think I can manipulate that. Despite that, I love it. I've always loved designing crap in this game and oh look at that. While we were sitting around waiting, range for our primary finish. Good, so this is only, that doesn't make sense. It's only gonna be 461,000? Wait a second. We have F-22s here, so let's create my F-9001. Great, let's compare. Okay, so this is the F-22, which I do love. It does not look at all like an F-22. And now, oh my gosh, it's 461 million. Ah, I missed a, <laughs> I missed a, couple of decimal places there. Is it better though? 461. Okay, so we're at 3423, 3323. Three, three. Can I remember that? Well, I'm gonna remember 3323 three, three, and I'm just gonna look here. Yes. We're one better damage here and one better range here, which makes sense because we just researched that. Now let's go over here. 3333, three, three, three. well, that's just threes across the board. That's pretty easy to remember. Ah, three, 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 four, three. Oh, we are better. Are we worth? Is it worth? I don't know if it's worth four times the cost, but let's just go back. We're three, zero, three, two. Why don't we have C sensors on this thing? Well, I'm better there too. Amazing. It is the best aircraft. So, well, that's just. It can't be the end of it, right? This thing we want to build. Wait, wait. wait. Now it. Why do we have sensors on the sea, but there's... I wasn't able to... Did I just forget to put them on? I think I just forgot to put them on. Fine, these things won't be attacking in ships, but, you know, the U.S. Navy can take care of that. You know, the whole Air Force love of Navy and everyone, yada yada. Those inner service rivalries, it's just a, it's a misconception. But how do I build the military units? I have to confess I've never tried to build a unit. It, it must be doable. Forces. Aha, uh -huh, I'm onto it. I'm getting closer. It's build and deploy. Yes, yes. And because nobody is going to miss in a four trillion dollar surplus, a couple billion dollars, or a couple hundred billion dollars, we're gonna get four, well, we're gonna get 1,000 flying torts. That might be overkill. Let's get 900. 900. No, it's one of those. 
is it? There we go. Yeah, okay, that's a little too expensive as well. Let's go ahead and get 500? Confirm order. We only have 800. We need at least three of these for every airport. That's right. So th I love this. This is so cool. This has always been one of the best parts of, of superpowers. Design your units and then military. The question is, does the AI also do such things? That's a question I don't know. I don't know the answer to. Another thing, I don't know how to make people active and not active anymore. It used to like shift them or something. And can I get them all to merge? Do you, is that the new meta? Do you merge them? Why do we have military units in Mexico? Is that, do we really have 30? That's not us, right? Please tell me that's not us yet. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's not us. We don't have 31,000 people in Mexico. Not yet. <laughs> if I can figure out how to move these units to the south, we will invade Mexico. Which was not premeditated, but just purely by the fact that I... By the merit of me looking and thinking I had people in Mexico, now I just decide that that's the, that's the way we're going to handle this. However, I have yet, as of yet, control click, not figured out how to move people. So we're just going to ignore that. This game is looking interesting. Um, I like, I love Super Power 2, and I, I think I will hopefully one day like this too. I just need to learn how to play it a little bit more. Anybody who's familiar with my channel probably knows I hate showing, like, terrible, completely nonsense, not knowing what to do videos, and that's unfortunately exactly what this is. This is just a joke of a video. But at least we got the economy balanced. So look, if Congress is paying attention out there, the US Congress, take it from Tortuga. All you need to do to get the American people up to 50% approval rating and 61 stability. Don't know what that means, but is uh, increase taxes to 40%, max out military research, and build the F9001 flying tort. For now, I'm going to cut here. Uh, hope, I hope we're doing more of this Super Power 3 in the future, but that's where I'm going to leave this one. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.